girls and boys, thank you so much for coming in on a level zero and going straight to your spot in line order. One sits here, two sits here, three, you have your own spot, four, you always have your own spot, five, you have your own spot, six, and so on. The reason we do this is so that we know where our spot is and we can come in quietly and listen to the plan. Today, we will be making patterns. That's lines, shape, and color, baby color. And we have lots and lots of different stations. So let me show you station number one. This is collage. At collage, what you can do is you can come and get one marker at a time. How many markers? One. The reason we do that is because it's easier to clean up. You will take the cap and put it on the back. Cap on the what? The back. Now, if your name is Sarah, you will write Sarah on your paper. And if you're in kinder or first grade or second grade, you just put a circle around what grade you're in. Please put the cap back on the marker so that you have it when you come back. Now, if you want to use collage materials, we have all kinds of cut paper. I would say use three at a time. How many? Three. Have some fun with them. You can always go back and get more. Check it out. This artist used three pieces here, but you can always get more afterwards. So if you need the scissors, you're allowed to use fancy scissors here. If you need the glue, notice how everybody put the cap back on it. The glue will be here. And if you need regular scissors, they'll be here. Just remember, if there's some people in line, just wait quietly. You'll get your turn next. Now, if you come over here and want to pick up a couple of pieces of paper for your pattern, all you have to do is this, and it'll go right on there. Check it out, and you can make a wonderful pattern by just picking up little scraps and shapes of paper. Now, over at this table, oh, we gotta put everything back. Where does it go? Back in the what? Back in the drawer that says glue. And here is where the scissors go. We'll close it gently. Okay, now over here, guys, we have the stencil table. The what table? Stencils. All right, these are really fun because all you have to do is get a pencil and draw, or a pen if you want. I'm gonna draw this little cat right here. And you hold it steady, hold it what? Steady. There's a little cat right there. And what you can do is use one of these plates underneath it. These are called texture plates. Any shape or cut, any little design on it goes underneath a bajo. Can you say a bajo? Uh -huh. Now you get a crayon like this and you color it underneath will make a pattern, another pattern. You can make rainbow patterns. You can change this out. Try another pattern underneath it. You could even color in the pattern. I don't think I'm gonna color mine quite in yet. Just make sure before you go to a new station that you put everything back. Great, okay, let's go to another station now. My next station is painting. Okay, my next station, I just dropped something. Do I need to come and pick it up? I'll pick it up later when she does hands up, stand up, or now if I want to use it, okay? But don't worry about it because everybody does teamwork in art and we all help clean up. Whenever you hear hands up, stand up, you don't just clean up after yourself, you clean up after everybody. And that's what makes teamwork so great. So what you do is you get one of these, one at a time, you don't have to press very hard, and you can make patterns with these. Check it out, but make sure you keep the top on it, and it goes up straight too, so that we still have some colors in it for later. Now, girls and boys, if you want to take this home, what you need to do is clean up your station first. When you hear hands up, stand up, you will have five seconds to walk, not run. Come put it over here at the to-go table and look around the room and see how you can clean up. There are a lot of ways you can use pattern in art today, but remember, when you hear hands up, stand up, that is your stop. Look, 
and listen. We're getting ready to change. Thank you, and I hope you have fun in art today, making patterns.